Welcome to this How To Free Agent tutorial. Today I'm going to cover splitting a bank transaction to more than one cost category. In a previous video, uh, we explained the transaction here on the bank uh, where, where Sarah's marketing magic, again, this is a dummy account, where, where she went in and bought some, some pads from Staples. One of the questions we get asked all the time is what if there is more than one thing on a receipt, which is for more than one different cost category. So in this instance, we, if I just remind anyone that hasn't seen the video, we just explained this as a payment from stationery. It was for 20 pads. It's at 20% uh, VAT and we've uh, attached the invoice. Now that's quite expensive for 20 pads. So what she's realized is that the 20 pads only cost um, 40 pounds and that there's 60 pounds of this that was actually for printer ink that she'd want to look, put under a different cost category. Uh, so the best thing to do uh, for the demo is to actually start again. So what I'm gonna do is remove that explanation. It's just warning me that it's going to delete the attachment, but I have a copy of the attachment, so that's fine. And we're just gonna start again, and I will show you what you would do if there was more than one cost category. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go again and select staples. But instead of filling in this section, we're going to go to more options. And under more options, uh, we're going to scroll down to see all of those things. We're going to scroll down to add a new explanation. So it's still a payment, but what we're going to do is change the value. And this is the, the key thing. You're going to tell it that this transaction only relates to part of the money that was paid. So if we change this number to 40, again, we want to put the VAT at 20%. We again want to change it to stationary and we again want to say a, ooh, a four pads times 20 makes it seem much more reasonable. And then uh, what we can do is again upload an attachment so we can select the file just like we did before and it will attach it. Uh, and you can see there it, there it is. It's all attached. Um, so we have done exactly what we did in, in sort of the, the first screen, but we've done it at more depth and we have changed the amount. So that's a really, really key thing. I can't express enough, change the amount. So then if we do create new explanation, Free Agent does a great thing in that it says, look, we've explained 40% of the hundred pounds, but there's 60 pounds that we don't know what that is yet. And there it is at the bottom. It will subdivide one category, uh, one transaction like this as many times as you want. You can have a hundred of these all split down. So now all we need to do uh, is go into the, the second red section. Again, we can, uh, as this has only got two transaction, two uh, categories rather, we can just explain this one here. We, if, if there were more, we could again go into more options and, and subdivide it again. But all we're going to do is say this is a payment. It's 20%. Uh, it's now other computer costs. And we're going to describe this as computer printer ink. Again, we could upload another file. Some people do upload them again. We have actually got the receipt which has the printer ink on already attached to the first transaction. So it's up to you. I mean, I would be a, as an accountant looking at this, I would, I would obviously be able to figure out this was the attachment for both transactions. Um, but you can upload it again if you wish to. So if we then explain the transaction, we can see that now from the £100, uh, £40 has been allocated to stationery and £60 has been allocated to other computer costs. If you've struggled with this, uh, lots of people do, but now you know how to do it, you should be able to do it like that every time. Thank you very much. If this has been helpful, please like it below and subscribe to our channels to see more of our videos. And if you need a free agent friendly accountant that's easy to talk to, please get in touch. Thanks for watching.